In this video, we're going to take a look at bitmaps and how they're represented. I will be explaining some key terms including resolution, colour depth and size in pixels. So broadly speaking, most images in computing can be stored as either bitmaps or vectors. Bitmaps use single discrete individual pixels of colour that make up an image, whereas a vector uses lists of information and mathematical equations to draw an image based on the data. In this video we're going to take a look at bitmaps and later on there's another section on vectors. So here we have a black and white bitmap image of a butterfly. Every single dot of colour is referred to as a pixel. The size of this bitmap is the size of the number of pixels. So we take the total width and the total height of the image in pixels and multiply them together. So the size of the image is 238. Now don't confuse us in the exam with resolution. The resolution is the number of dots per inch where a dot is an individual pixel. Colour depth refers to the number of bits needed to store each pixel. So because this image is only using two discrete colours, white and black, we only have to use one single bit of colour depth to store the colour information for this image. A zero can indicate black and a one can indicate white. Now here we've added more colours to the image. We're now using four colours to create this butterfly. The black and the white from earlier and also now the blue and the green. It's not sufficient now to have one bit to store the colour depth of this image because one bit can only hold two values, zero and one. Now we need two bits. With two bits we can store four combinations 0 and 0 for black and 1 and 1 for white as earlier and now we're having 0 and 1 as blue and 1 and 0 as green. We've moved on further and obviously now the quality of our picture is increasing because we're adding more colours but of course the size of the image is increasing because for every pixel I now need more bits. There is more depth of colour, more information required to encode each pixel. Here I have a 3-bit colour depth. And you can see again, black is still naught, white is still 1. And we've now got these other additional colours down here. Now modern photos and images end up being, typically today, 24 bits in colour. That means we have 24 bits of information from 24 zeros to 24 ones to store the information in the image. This allows somewhere in the region of 16 million colours which is the maximum number of colours the human eye is able to perceive. Now 24 bits of information in ones and zeros is also quite difficult for humans to remember and deal with and this is typically why we store colours as hex values with each pair of hex values relating to an 8-bit binary code for the red, green and blue hue of the image.